I have empty packages coming to me in the mail, and I'm still excited just because they're packages. The packages aren't technically empty, but they're filled only with more boxes, which actually are. So, more on that later. Summer is the thing that is still currently happening. I think the actual season ends somewhere in September, but mine ends fairly soon because college just can't wait that long to have me back. And it is true that this probably hasn't been my most productive summer ever, but it also most definitely has not been my least. I set myself about four or five goals at its beginning, and I have managed to accomplish one of them. That one was actually to vlog more often, which is not an overly challenging goal when you've previously only been vlogging once every two or three months, but accomplishment. Another of my summer goals was to learn how to swim, because, sad fact, I've never learned how to swim, even though I live in Florida which is a peninsula known for its beaches. The swimming goal was not successfully completed, but some progress was made. A stroke that I like to call frog with problems was pretty much perfected. It's not a stroke I would ever rely on to save my life, but it's a start. Progress. I also really wanted to get a job this summer. Not much progress towards that one. But I did teach myself to draw the heads of nine different Mario characters, and you may say that's entirely unrelated, but there are less marketable skills to spend hours of your summer perfecting. There is one more thing I have also recently accomplished, which weirdly was not on my list of summer goals, but has been a goal of mine for the past three years. I have finally set up a little jewelry shop of sorts for myself on Etsy.com. It is called Charm and Wit because charm bracelets and because it's slightly more sophisticated sounding than we sell smiling internal organs. And its spectacular banner was made by the same spectacular person who made the spectacular one for my YouTube channel. And I will link you to her shop places in the doobly-doo as well because her plushies are also amazing. I will be selling bracelets and necklaces with and without internal organs, possibly without, not really sure about those yet. So far I have one Nerdfighter charm bracelet and a lot more internal organ related stuff. And I'm not telling you any of this to tell you to buy my stuff. It's just a thing that I am really excited about. Mostly because I basically get to make presents for random strangers and friends. And if anything actually sells, I'll be making money for those presents, which is weird, but hopefully I'll get used to it because that is how shops work. Oh, that's also what all those empty boxes were being ordered and shipped and excitedly waited for, for hopefully doodling brains on the tops of and sending out various organs and charm bracelets in. Because I know you were all waiting throughout this entire vlog in such suspense to find out about those boxes. Speaking of suspense with not as much sarcasm and also speaking of organs and boxes, it is the first or second week of August, probably. So drum roll on your legs or the nearest table or flat surface because I am not competent enough yet to add sound effects later. And the winner of the 100 subscribers thank you present is, dramatic pause, Chemical Hippos! Which makes me really happy because Catherine makes me really happy, as do all of you. Obviously there isn't a giveaway a winner result that would have disappointed me because I love all of your guts. But speaking of guts, again, Basal ganglia, because it's fun to say. Catherine, if I haven't already messaged you because I'm easily distracted, I will be doing that because I will need your top three favorite colors and internal organs, as well as a way to get them to you. Not all of them, but one of them in the arms of a hippo. And if you are not already subscribed to Chemical Hippos, you should visit her channel because she is lovely, and I will link it in the doobly-doo too. And I will see you eventually. Bye! Sad Facts does sound like a really fabulous collection of flashcards, though. The Luna Moth only lives for one week because it has no mouth. A baby squid may never have a relationship with either of its parents. Okay, I'm done, but those should exist.